Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Seaport operations have been essential to global trade for thousands of years. The earliest seaports were used primarily for fishing and trading. But as maritime technology advanced, seaports became increasingly crucial for facilitating international trade. Today, seaports are complex logistical hubs that leverage state-of-the-art equipment to facilitate the movement of 90% of goods, from loading and unloading to warehousing and distribution. Major seaports are constructed as port complexes to cater to various port activities, including containers, trucks, solid bulk, liquid bulk, and passengers. These activities involve three main phases, hinterland, port operations, and seaside activities. Hinterland operations consist of transporting goods to and from the port. To export containers through the port, freight forwarders must first communicate the cargo declaration to customers and the port authority before the arrival of trucks to the port facilities. At the port's main gate, the trucks generally undergo an inspection to compare the information previously declared with the total load of the container and ensure safety and security requirements. Inside the port, the truck must go a specific way to avoid blocking port traffic. Some ports have import traffic separated from export traffic. This practice aims to optimize the processing time. The containers are then unloaded and placed in the container yard using a rail-mounted gantry crane, or RMG. With high precision, containers are sorted and organized based on their destination. When the container is loaded onto the vessel, shuttle carriers transfer the containers from the yard and place them in the quay side. When they are lifted onto the vessel using a giant gantry crane or mobile crane, the crane operator carefully positions the container over the designated slot on the vessel and then lowers it into place. Once the container is in place, it is locked to prevent it from moving during transit. There are several other mechanically advanced handling equipment that facilitates the transfer of containers inside the terminal. Top loaders, for instance, are commonly used to load containers weighing up to 32 tons onto trucks for transport. The top loader is equipped with a hydraulic lifting arm that can lift a container and place them onto the bend of a truck. It is a fast and efficient loading technique, allowing containers to be loaded quickly without needing a separate crane or lifting equipment. In the last decade, some terminals started using automated handling equipment to make container management more efficient and cost-effective. Patrick's terminals, for instance, Brisbane Autostrad, was the first terminal to operate with automated container straddle carriers.
These robotic machines transport and stack containers in a container yard. They use sophisticated technology to move containers that weigh up to 60 tons, and they can stack them up to four highs. The automated container straddle is remotely monitored and has the ability to connect with other terminal operating systems, increasing predictability and operational efficiency. Ultra-large container ships require deep water ports with a depth of more than 50 feet. One of these is the port of Antwerp. The port receives mega container ships on a daily basis. HMM Stockholm, the seventh largest container ship, recently called on the PSA Antwerp Nazi Terminal. The vessel is 1,312 feet long and 203 feet wide with a carrying capacity of 23,964 TEUs. To handle a vessel of this size, PSA Antwerp utilized a range of specialized equipment, including gantry cranes, straddle carriers, and reach stackers to unload and load containers from the vessel onto the terminal and vice versa. The process involved careful planning and collaboration to ensure the vessel was loaded and unloaded as quickly and efficiently as possible. But this couldn't have happened without the help of tugboats. Though container ships are ultra-large, their big size imposes some restrictions. As the container ship approaches the port, tugboats hurry to maneuver her. Their size means they can't move in shallow waters or narrow channels safely. Therefore, when the vessel reaches the port, she stops advancing under her own power and tugboats take over. They use a combination of pushing and towing efforts to guide the vessel to its allocated berth. Skillful workers then secure the vessel to the dock using mooring lines and fenders. Now the containers can be unloaded. The unloading process involves using quay cranes to lift the containers off the ship and onto the terminal. These cranes are massive, they can move horizontally along rails on the dock, allowing them to reach over the entire width of the ship to retrieve containers from different rows. Once the crane has lifted the container, it is swung over to the terminal and placed onto a truck chassis or a trailer. From there, it can be moved to the shipyard for further processing. Whether monitored remotely or manually, the crane operator must be careful to avoid collisions with other containers, structures, or personnel, both on the ship and at the terminal. These operators are dotted with excellent hand-eye coordination and depth perception. To move containers, they carefully position the crane over the container using the spreader. The spreader has a set of locking mechanisms that secure the container in place. When the spreader is well placed above the container, the crane operator lowers it until the locking mechanisms engage with the container's corner castings. Then, the crane hoists the spreader and container off the ship's deck 
and lowers them to the terminal. The spreader's design ensures that the container remains level during the lift, preventing it from tilting or slipping. The use of advanced equipment, coordination, and software infrastructure allows reduced dwell time and efficient vessel operations. After the terminal finishes loading and unloading containers, the tugboat returns to maneuver the ship out of the port. Tug masters and pilots are experts in the port's technical details. They use the tugboat's powerful engine and high maneuverability to move the ship while making sure she stays on course and does not collide with other vessels or structures. Tugboats meticulously pull the ship away from the terminal using a tow line and push her to keep it under control until it is safely out of the port and in open water. On board a container ship, the crew members work in shifts to ensure the vessel is operated safely around the clock. Daily work is complex and requires the seamless coordination of various departments. The engine room is the heart of the ship, where skilled engineers work tirelessly to maintain and operate the machinery that powers the vessel. They keep a constant watch on the engines, boilers, and auxiliary equipment, ensuring that everything is top-notch. On the bridge, the ship's officers keep a watchful eye on the ship's course and speed. They communicate with other ships and the shore, using advanced technology to track the ship's progress and avoid potential hazards. In the dining hall, the galley cooks provide nutritious and delicious meals for the hungry sailors. In recent years, the shipping industry has significantly shifted toward implementing futuristic technologies in ports to improve efficiency, safety, and sustainability. One such example is the Smart Air Rail Container Transport System launched in China in 2021. The system uses a combination of air cushions and magnetic levitation to move containers at high speeds along a rail track, realizing zero transfer across land, rail, and port transportation. Another significant advancement in port technology is the fully automated container terminal. Long Beach Terminal, for instance, uses advanced robotics, 5G and AI to manage the flow of containers, resulting in faster turnaround times and increased productivity. The Antwerp container port system is also a unique technological marvel, as it is the world's biggest con row, or container and roll-on, roll-off terminal. The port allows for the simultaneous loading and unloading of both containers and vehicles using specialized equipment and automated systems. This has significantly reduced the time and labor required to move goods through the port. These advancements in port technology are set to revolutionize the shipping industry, improving efficiency and sustainability 
while reducing costs and enhancing safety. As the industry continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more groundbreaking technologies being implemented in ports around the world. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.